In this video, we are going to talk about 10 researched facts about dreams before you wake up. So, before starting the video, please like this video. Do subscribe and turn on the notification to our channel for future updates. When was the last time you awoke from a nightmare that was genuinely insane and horrible? Or perhaps even worse, when was the last time you had one of those bizarrely recurring nightmares in which you were running about in Trafalgar Square in London completely naked with no one offering to help? Only you? Goodness, what about the situation where all of your teeth are falling out if you are running late for a meeting or test? According to scientists, they are a little easier to identify and are typically linked to stress, which is the most very bad. If you've been having odd dreams lately, you can attribute some of them to Mercury being in retrograde. Number 10. When you dream, you actually become paralyzed. Now that's surprising. You dream the most during your rapid eye movement sleep period, which is also the acronym for swift eye movement. While most of us are aware of that aspect, you may not be aware that your muscles grow looser and your intentional muscles really become immobile while your mind becomes more dynamic. Number 9. Women experience more nightmares than men do. This one happened when an analyst by the name of Jenny Parker was awakened by her own unpleasant dreams and took control over the matter. Every so often, you have to see it to believe it. Parker's PhD research at the time discovered that women experience more nightmares than males. An analysis of 100 women and 93 men between the ages of 18 and 25 who were asked to keep a dream journal of their most recent dreams revealed that 19% of males and 30% of women reported having unpleasant dreams, respectively. Number 8. Ladies and men are more often victims than aggressors in their dreams. According to this quote from the dreams of men and women, patterns of gender similarity and difference, the two are more often victims than aggressors in the violent connections in their fantasies, and they face similar assailants, specifically, men who are not familiar to them, male outsiders, and creatures. The analysis discovered that the two people are similarly likely to become close friends with another fictional character when there is a chance of gain. That is permissible in this context. Number 7. Ladies' dreams are also more emotional. Women who took part in the aforementioned study were much more likely to report having dreams about very terrible events, such as the death of a friend or relative. Fantastic. Number 6. 60% of people don't remember their dreams. You hear people say they don't dream a lot. That is simply untrue. Everyone dreams, but only 60% of people remember their dreams. Those who frequently recall their fantasies have considerably more activity in their nerve center, or the area of the brain responsible for gathering information. Number 5. You forget 90% of your dreams within 10 minutes. There are a number of factors that contribute to why we have poor reviews of our dreams. The cerebral cortex, a region of the brain that plays a significant role in memory, thought, language, and cognizance, lacks the chemical norepinephrine, which is the substance behind why we will generally fail to notice. According to Sigmund Freud's theory, we have trouble remembering our fantasies because they are filled with our repressed thoughts and emotions that we would never want to recall in the first place. Number 4. Dreams are mostly negative. Well, the present one is really disappointing. Tension and unfavorable emotions are the most frequently reported feelings in dreams. Studies on dream content have shown that dream experiences are biased adversely, negative dream contents are more common than their matching good contents. However, it is uncertain if the bias is genuine or the result of biased sampling, i.e., choosing to remember only extremely bad emotions. Number 3. Rest eating disorder is also real. Yes, rest eating is a real thing. Although it is less common than rest walking or rest talking, this problem is more commonly referred to as SRED and involves repeated scenes of forced eating or drinking while resting. Some groups have no memory of their behavior, while others are completely prepared. Number 2. Our best sleep won't take place ever again. 
children between the ages of 8 and 10 have the finest sleep, and afterwards it's easy sailing. This is due to the fact that as we become older, our sleep quality clearly declines in ways that are more important. A child under the age of 8 only reacts to REM's fantasy reviews around 20% of the time, as opposed to adults, who react to them more frequently. Number 1. Night Owls Have More Nightmares While there are benefits to staying up late, whimsical daydreaming is not one of them. Night owls are more likely to have nightmares than their early birds peers. 264 university students participated in the study, and they reported how frequently they had nightmares on a scale from 0 to 4, never to always, respectively. The average score for those who stay up late was 2.10, whereas the average score for those who wake up early was 1.23. Although the researchers deemed the difference to be significant, they are unsure of what might be producing a connection between sleep patterns and nightmares. One of their hypotheses involves the stress hormone cortisol, which reaches its peak in the early hours of the morning just before we awaken and when people are more likely to be in random eye movement, or dream, sleep. The researchers hypothesize that if you're still asleep at that time, the cortisol surge may cause intense dreams or nightmares. So, that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on our video? Please let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification to our channel before you go. Thank you so much for watching.